In this example, we'll see how MDS Quick Ref can be used to look up an admin code. Let's go into member demo1, which is um, some JCL that executes with a compile link and go, executes a small assembler program. Program is rather simple. It just sets up the base registers, uh, change our save area, get mains and area, does processing, and then gets out. So it's a very simple program. So let's submit the program to see what happens. And lo and behold, it ended with a system code 808. So let's press F2 to split the screen and go into SDSF to look at the output. And yes, we get an error during get main system completion code 808, reason code 10. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the cursor on the admin code and MVS QuickRef is going to look up the items in the database that are the 80A admin. And it will also, because we're doing cursor-driven invocation, it will also uh, obtain the reason code and will issue a find code command for us. So let's hit the hotkey, which in my case is PF23. So I will do a shift F11 and MVS QuickRef comes up and it has all of the 808 items displayed. There are several there are IBM and CA vendors. There are several products, but the one we're interested in, the ZOS system codes. So we're going to select this by putting the cursor in the selection area and pressing the Enter key. Now, as I told you, the return code would be uh, obtained by QuickRef, and the find code command is uh, set here um, on the top line. All we have to do is hit the enter key and it will find the reason code for us. Reason code 10. And that says there is not enough virtual private area storage available to satisfy the request. So uh, in essence this program is doing a get main and the get main uh, is trying to get main too much area. So we're going to we have a solution in hand so we're going to F4 out of MVS Quick Ref, that's one keystroke that takes us completely out. We're going to press F9 to go back to ISPF Edit. And let's see what we have. Yes, here's a Git main. See the Git main? And the it says we need uh, 480,000 bytes for the Git main. But the way the program is coded, there's 4,800,000 bytes obtained. So this is a typo. We're obtaining too much storage. So let's reduce that area, save, submit the program, and this time we see that it ended with, an ad, with a return code of zero. So we've used MVS QuickGraph to look up the admin code, to obtain a solution, to go back into the program, to edit the solution in, and we see that the solution was correct.